Today we are turning this a tornado flew around my room type of mess into a beautiful aesthetic and easy to access workspace. I began by taking everything that was laying out and finding it a temporary home so that I can start to move things around and I tried not to get distracted by all the cool stuff I found in my room. The next day I went to Home Depot and purchased the shelf for about $45. I will link it down below if you're interested. Peace, love, and light, yo. We just left the Home Depot and I got a new shelf. Yay! We're about to go to the Dollar Tree now, get some little like organizers. Another part of getting this shelf and everything organized is going to be clearing out old stuff that I don't use, that I don't need and just really creating um, space for better vibes, better functionality, better organization, and overall just feeling great. After getting my shelf and the storage things, it was now time to start building up the shelf. It was very easy. I think I did it in like six minutes. I even got my niece to help me because she was there. And y'all, having her help with this stuff was actually really really nice like it high key felt like ancestral healing to have her be a part of this and see her auntie doing all this cool stuff like it's really a gift she was very excited for whatever reason <laughs> the setup of the shelf changed a lot throughout this time and i imagine it may continue to change as things go on just because i'm figuring out what works best for me so now I am actually beginning the process of emptying out my previous storage solutions and figuring out where everything is gonna go now on the new shelf. My niece kept asking for stickers. Like, I, I finally had to just give in and give her a bunch of stickers, like. <laughs> Slowly but surely, things started to take shape. And even though, like I said, some things moved quite a bit during this process, Ultimately, I was able to find a spot for pretty much everything. I tried to make it so that the items that I used the most were in the middle two rows because the highest shelf is something that I'm not really able to reach and it's just sometimes uncomfortable to bend down. So I tried to strategically place things by the amount of use they get. I thought this gold basket was so cute y'all and I thought I'm gonna put my glass tubes in this. Um, nope, they fell out immediately through the holes on the side so I had to put them in a less cute basket but uh, it was more safe. <laughs> this is the progress at the end of day one. Day two and I was ready. Ready. <laughs> I uncovered a bunch of these seashells that I had completely forgotten I even had. So since I found them now, I have been able to get a whole bunch of new inspiration for some candles. If you get these storage bins from Dollar Tree, I suggest not packing it as heavy as I did or make sure you have a thicker support on the bottom of the box. My box is pretty heavy and it's kind of floppy. So now I am getting everything on this shelf situated so that I can move everything else in my room out of the way and put the shelf in its final position. So first that entailed getting everything off of my altar and putting it in a box so that I can move it out of the way. If you're interested in how to set up your altar, I am making a video and if it is done by the time this video is up, I will link it down below. I took off my photos off of the wall and then I vacuumed the area so that it's nice and clean. I then used my awesome muscles and moved the shelf into place. I am truly thankful to be able to do so much and invest so much in my business and share it with you guys. One of the last things that needed to get packed away was my camera and photography equipment. Obviously because I was using them to make this video. But once those were put away, I was then able to take my old storage containers and repurpose them for a new use. For example, I was able to clean up this white storage and then put all of my yoga and workout equipment as well as my books. So now the rest of my room is also feeling a lot more streamlined and organized, less clutter. 
Got some new storage containers for the bath bombs. And here you have it. This is my completed business area.